Hi, this is Lucinda Cross, your host of What's Your Story. I have three great things to tell you. One, I now have a show on Mom TV, which can be seen at momtv.com, Corporate Mom Dropouts, and that airs every Monday from 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So tune in there and you will get your dose of What's Your Story. Number two, I had a fabulous conference this weekend, October 30th, 2010 at the New Yorker Hotel and it was outstanding and exceeded my expectations and I'm just so glad that I stuck in there along with my partner Heather Lopez from Happy and Healthy Moms to just believe have a dream believe in it and just wait for it just wait for it take act take the necessary actions and wait for it we released all control to God and just allowed him to make the decisions for us in those times when we began to worry so it was wonderful but the third thing is very important and it's very touchy to my heart and i'm going to try my best not to cry as i tell you this story after the conference on october 30th my mother walked up to me and she told me that lucinda i have you have um changed history in our family i'm um, bear with me i'm trying not to cry so i said what do you mean changed history with our family and she said that my great great grandmother was a chambermaid at the New Yorker Hotel. So I said, Well, mommy, what is a chambermaid? Well, she said, That's the lady who does the unpleasant things before there were toilets or someone who can flush the toilet plumbing in the hotels. She would clean the floors and she was a chambermaid. So she would clean up the crap. So it was an honor and a historical. Um, just a historical moment in her life to see how the women in our family went from being at the bottom cleaning up the stink to being at the top on the stage and it was just a moment and an experience that really touched her and it's something for me to know that i am standing on my foremothers their backs i'm standing on their strength and without them, I would not be here. But that is the reason why it was such a pull to have the event at the New Yorker Hotel. And regardless of the challenges that we had faced in having it there, everything went in our fav favor, meaning me and Heather. And I know why. There's history there. There was work, there were seeds that were sown in those grounds for a better life for her children and her children's children. And I'm here to give a message to all of the mothers and the women right now. If you believe you can achieve, you never know what seeds were sown before you, what your foremothers and forefathers had laid down before you for, to pave the way so that you can succeed and be all you can be. Do not take that for granted. Step up to the plate. Whatever it is that you want to do, take small steps. This is an example. I've always wanted to have a conference in New York. Would I ever think that it would be at the New Yorker Hotel where my great-great-grandmother was cleaning crap? She was a chambermaid to make a way for her family, which is now me and my children. I can't imagine the things that my children's children are going to do. Think about building a legacy. This is bigger than us. This is bigger than you. We have people waiting for us to pave the way and step into who it is that we need to be to use our gifts. So I just thank everyone so much who all attended, volunteered, participated. It means 10 times, 100 times more to me now just knowing the history of my family. So before I get way too emotional here, I'm going to sign off and I look forward to seeing you next Monday for What's Your Story. Well, this is my story today. And um, I was in for a big surprise Saturday evening after my conference. So have a wonderful day. I look forward to your posts and your comments and let's continue to create history using her story. So what's your story? Bye.